Hi Brockton residents, this is Mayor Robert Sullivan and I wanted to just uh, tape a video today to all the veterans that are currently serving, have served, and more importantly because Monday, May 25th is Memorial Day, the men and women, the brave men and women that actually paid the ultimate sacrifice and gave their life for our country so that we can have the United States of America that we have today. I'd like to just, uh, as, as mayor and as a Brocktonian, I'd like to first of all thank David Farrell. Uh, Mr. Farrell is a veteran, but he is the veteran services agent for the city of Brockton, and I thank him first of all for his service to our nation, but also for the service he provides to our community and to the veterans in the city of Brockton. As you know, right now we're in the thick of things here with the COVID-19, the coronavirus, and uh, over 227 folks have passed because of this nasty, deadly virus. And we know at the VA hospital up on Belmont Street, they've lost some fine veterans because of this nasty virus. So uh, thoughts and prayers go to the departed, and of course, their loving, surviving family members and loved ones. Um, just to let you know, of course, in 1930, the wonderful War Memorial, architecturally, it's, it's brilliant. If you drive down West Elm Street and you look at the War Memorial, that was constructed to honor the nat native Brocktonians, the men and women that passed um, during any conflict in our nation's history. Um, and right now, I just want to take a moment. There's been so many veterans that we've lost, but a dear friend to the city of Brockton was Mr. George Cataldo. And George was an elected official. He was a ward counselor. He was a city councilor at large. His nickname was the Silver Fox. He was a great musician, great singer. Um, but Mr. Cataldo recently passed uh, down in Florida, and our thoughts and prayers go out to George and to his surviving uh, family members. But he was the greatest generation, and again, there's few and far between of how many are still surviving, and we thank them every single day. I was up at the, uh, the VA hospital today with Congressman Stephen Lynch, again, to recognize and to thank, publicly thank, all veterans, all veterans. Um, we wouldn't have this nation without them. So on Memorial Day, again, I just thought it would be appropriate to just do some quick information of what Memorial Day is. Originally, it was known as Decoration Day, uh, and that followed uh, the years after the Civil War. And it officially became a federal holiday in 1971. That's when most Americans decided to call it Memorial Day. And how they would observe that day was they would visit cemeteries or memorials or hold family gatherings and participate in parades. The reason why I'm doing this, this video to you today is, of course, because of the health crisis, the pandemic, not just impacting the city, the Commonwealth, the country, but the world. We can't have our Memorial Day parade here in the city of Brock. And something that I, I did for 14 years walking as a city councilor at large. And um, all I can say is we hope to be able to have one next year. But we're doing these videos just to, again, acknowledge Memorial Day, acknowledge the, uh, the men and women that gave their lives. Again, uh, America embraced the notion of Decoration Day, again, following the Civil War. Uh, and then, again, um, in 1890, uh, every form of state of the Union adopted as an official holiday. Um, but again, when World War I uh, was um, uh, entered into by the United States of America, the tradition was really expanded uh, to any and all that were killed in all wars. Um, and it was recognized, as I said, in 1971. As mayor, I would like to read a proclamation, uh, and I think it's fitting to do that right now. Whereas, since the founding of the United States of America, men and women of our military have risked their lives to protect our great nation from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Whereas, in 1971, Congress established the National Observance of Memorial Day as the last Monday in May to honor our fallen military heroes who have lost their lives while serving our country. Whereas Memorial Day provides Americans the opportunity to honor these soldiers, again, who paid the ultimate sacrifice in order to guarantee our freedoms and our liberties that each and every American enjoys today. Whereas future generation of all Brocktonians will continue to stand ready to serve our country and are prepared to also pay that ultimate sacrifice in order that our city, our commonwealth, our country remains free. I, Robert F. Sullivan, Mayor of the City of Brockton, do hereby proclaim Monday, May 25th, 2020 as Memorial Day. And I urge all residents of the City of Brockton to join me in observing this fine day and thanking all veterans, those that are alive and those that have passed. Again, I just want to thank everybody for their diligence during this uh, horrific coronavirus pandemic. I want to thank the veterans that are in the forces right now that have served in every branch 
And I just want to say, as mayor, I'm proud of each and every one of you. And on Monday, the 25th of May, when I get on my knees to thank the veterans, I'll remember how important it means to be an American citizen. Thank you and God bless you all.